Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. This is What's New Tuesday. And the good news is, pirates are back. And I've been wondering about this, which has had no previous mention for this entire month. Because September 2022 was when we got the pirate stuff with the cards that you could buy which contain all the items that are available now on the urn operation. In fact, I have one of those cards. I'm going to show it to you momentarily. But before I do, let me remind you, please leave a like for this video. This will help spread the word and let other players know what I'm doing over here and what they can see and how this can help them. I don't know what possessed me to do this, but I guess it was the opportunity to find out what was going to be coming out of the cards. Here is a second card for you. This was a card earn operation that we had for three cards max. Jackpot. Captain Red Feathers. All right, we are back. So, luckily, I saved those two card openings so you could see what it was like. Now, those cards are not available, which is that's a negative, sort of, I guess, because I think they could sell those. So, now they're showing you what we had last year the jolly roger 3d commander which is absolutely fantastic i have not had a chance to try out my commander and listen to the new voiceover but this dude was awesome i bought him for 3300 last year totally worth it his animations in the garage are absolutely phenomenal so that's you know really the highlight Now, I've already earned my own Talk Like a Pirate medal, which is, you know, fantastic. It has everything I like. It has the pirate captain's hat with an eye patch parrot. That's a triple score for me. Because I'm a pirate guy from way back. Arr, matey. I be a pirate commander. Now, all these different things you see. When you do uh, your talk like a pirate qualification of earning 35,000 silver, remember it goes off of the base earnings, not your net. So you might net 25,000. I'm telling you from experience. You might net 25,000, but you earned, I mean, the game when I did that, I earned almost 40,000. And then it was, you know, sub, uh, I had some bonuses and then subtraction for consumables etc so my net was less than 35,000 but you're looking for that base earning you get the base earning over 35,000 bingo you're going to get pirate gear so I'm going to go through and show you now these were all available in those cards you'd get a commander and like I think two pirate items in those cards or is it one pot? I don't remember what it was. I think it was one. But one of the toughest ones to get was the pirate hat emblem. I can tell you that from personal experience. Jolly Roger emblem is kind of mediocre. There's already a better one in your emblems, but eh, whatever. The more the merrier. Everybody's different. There's also walk the plank. The pirate booty. Dead Men Tell No Tales, which is a nice one, easy to read. You can see that some of these are more iconic and easier to read, especially at longer ranges. Like the Dead Man Tell No Tales is pretty obvious. So is the booty. Fire in the Hole, not bad, but it, it's so small, it's very difficult to read. There she blows, also difficult to read, not terrible. Landlubber, pretty easy to read. 
Now, these are some of the commanders that you could earn, well, not earn, but receive in those cards. Blackbeard. They were, of course, all 2D. Perry the Pirate. I didn't get him, but I hope to get him this time. And Bonnie. Grace O'Malley. And me favorite, Jolly Roger. So, pretty good stuff. Now, personally, as I check into these commander groups, there may be some you like. Really, the only thing I want is Perry the Pirate. Blackbeard, of course, will be fine. But that's just my personal deal. But there's quite a few. What is this bounty? I'm sorry, what are the R matey? Blackbeard, William Kidd, Black Bard, and Perry. That's one of the, that's really the best one I thought. When you see the pictures in the store, you'll know. Yeah. Perry the Pirate, Davy Jones, Jolly Roger. 2D is also very good. So I like that too. Anyway. And this shows you the different guys. I, uh, you know, had all well, I didn't have I had her. I had Black Caesar. And who else did I have? I had Emmanuel Wynn. I had Grace. And I had Ghost Davy Jones. Where is he? I don't see him. Well, whatever. But I'd like to have Perry the Pirate. Now, of course, in the clip I showed you, I got Captain Red Feathers. So he's awesome. So this covers the pirate stuff, which is, you know, the main thing to me. It's a nice gold metal All right me buckles we're back in the store And we're going to cover the items they're in. Basically, this is a bunch of random stuff from last week. Nothing new. World War II, we have more tanks for you to consider. All right, I'm going to drop the pirate lingo. Basically, a bunch of stuff that you'll see kind of regular you know I'm unsatisfied with most of these offerings for one reason or another American Triumvirate has a real problem this is a Patriot except it's not the not not painted like the Patriot I had the Patriot I don't want this one captured King Tiger it looks hideous that's what everyone wants. They want, a, they want a King Tiger with American stars on it. What were they thinking? This, this should have been a skin you could add if you want that, which no one probably does. So, you know, I got the King Tiger from the operation because that's the superior version. Rover, this is a super chaffy. Made up like a 50s or 60s NASA space you know, exploration paint job. I don't want any of these. I have a Super Chaffee, and I have a Patriot, and I have the regular King Tiger. I don't need any of these tanks. Eastern Smashers, eh. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. Soviet Triple. Another one that's got a tiger tank, but that who wants a Soviet tiger tank? Not me. I like regular tiger tanks. I had the Japanese tiger tank, which is heavy tank number six, because I got it in a card. I didn't want the tank because it's just it's not German. I, I mean, I want the German tiger. So 
These are the regular premium tanks that were available from last week and before. Secret weapons, lights, and destroyers. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Look at this garbage. Now, this tank here is very good. This is the a, a skinned version, or the let's say the unskinned version of the Holden Hund, the Hellhound. It's also missing the 50% commander bonus. So, if you get this for free in an operation or something, fine. But why would you pay for this? Go get the Holden Hund. It's the same exact tank, but with a skin and a 50% commander bonus. TS5, eh. Now, there's a skin for this tank that makes it a G.I. Joe tank, if that floats your boat. I'm just, you know, throwing it out there. But I, I don't want this tank. It, it's not very good. None of these do anything for me. Secret weapons, mediums, please. Type 59, boring. Dragon Lanson, boring. What is this? IS-6, who cares? I mean, you know. Oh, yeah, M M6A2E1. Boring. Sorry, I'm just being honest. I already have... Well, instead of... Yeah, in, here, let me, let me re... Uh, let me cover this for you. Okay. From the season, several seasons ago, I have the Object 780 Russian Tier 10 heavy tank. I don't need an IS-6. M6A2E1. Well, I have the War Heroes Tier 10 T58 heavy. I don't need this. You see what I'm getting at? Some of these tanks are just literally replaceable by better tanks and once you have replaced it you don't need those so so what i'm telling you is that there are better tanks for some of this stuff get the best one and you'll never have to worry about other new stuff that shows its face huge mistake here auxiliary buy items that you pay silver for with gold holy moly that's a super mistake don't ever do it unless you want to give a gift to someone which that's fine but why would you pay gold for items that you could literally pay silver for? Gun stabilizer, advanced loader, advanced optics. And there's no, if they said 10 gold, I'm like, no, I can get this for free just by playing silver, etc. You know, no, I'm not interested. These are the pirate commanders bundles that you could get. If you like the ladies, jackpot with the parrot. Always smart. Arr, matey. One of the best ones, really. Captain Kid, I mean, Captain Kid, Black Bart, and Blackbeard, of course, along with, once again, Perry the Pirate, a favorite. Well, favorite for me, anyway. Escape from the Locker. I don't know who Calico Jack is, but, you know, 2D Jolly Roger, Ghost Davy Jones, and Perry the Pirate. This is the butt kicker. I have this guy, and when he's standing in your garage, he has this, as you see, this uh, sword twirl. He also will draw a pistol and fire it. Fantastic stuff. The animations of this guy are just absolutely the best of all of the ones I've ever seen. I highly recommend this, unless you hate pirates for whatever reason. He's also good because I stuck him... In a, you know, in a nation where they don't have any three-star commanders. So, absolutely fantastic. These guys, of course, Eddie and Vic are terrific. The, the oddball thing is that Megadeth's Vic has phrases that were recorded by Dave the singer. Uh, Eddie has no phrases. He just growls. I don't know. It just seemed kind of odd. Um, his growl is kind of eh. I like the Voitech growl much better, but I'm just saying it's just weird. Um, again, more pirates. If these do anything for you, they don't do anything for me personally, but that's just me. 
Eh, kind of all right, I guess. Scurvy Pete doesn't do anything for me. Again, this guy does not. And the, what is the last one? The Unusual Buccaneers. Yeah, kind of Queen of the Black Sea. Yeah, eh. They don't do anything for me personally, okay? Those are just check boxes. I'm going to make this available for people to get. I'm like, who cares? Privateer Trio. Yeah. Again, they're okay. That's fine. That doesn't represent pirate really to me. That's the thing. They're just commanders that are generic. More generic, not generic, but those are specific heavy metal commanders. Good stuff. Um, I don't know. It kind of tells me. When I see this again, we had this recently, you know, a couple months ago, whatever. I'm getting, I'm getting the, not, you know, the, the alert that a silver with interest might be showing up. And silver with interest is a monster money maker. But you need times two. Well, you need silver bonus. You need tank experience bonus to uh, jackpot your scoring. Times twos are the best, of course, for the silver bonus. And times five or above are the best for that. But those things are expensive, dude. I mean, I, I don't do tech trees, so having buying, you know, times five experience, I don't really need those. I, I don't do tech tree very much at all. But this is what this is telling me when I see these. That you're going to need times three or higher tank experience boosters and times two, well, 1.5 silver boosters are good. Times two are the best. So, when I did silver with interest, I made 3 million silver in one game with a times five experience, a times two silver booster, and the only game I ever played in my TCM AGS Era 3 light tank sniper where I broke 10,000 scoring. It was just the perfect alignment of those three things. And that was 3 million in one game. I have a video of it on here. You could search for it if you want. So that was killer. Once again, in case you're new, don't ever take gold and buy silver. It's one of the stupidest things you could possibly do. You can literally earn silver for free in Cold War. You're better off to go and take this 15,000 gold and go buy a Cold War tank with a 65% silver bonus and it'll make you more, more than however many stupid millions they give you. How many millions is this? Let's look and see. 10 million? Pfft, I spit on 10 million. I'm just giving you the heads up on this one. The rest of the stuff is basic. So let's go look here at Cold War tanks. What do we have here? Now, I'm not really turned on by any of these at, at myself. But I had the WZ-122. It's a solid tank. This is kind of expensive, though. So, I think it's got a 50 or 55% uh, earn rate. Let's find out. This is my personal tank. It's my, Yeah, 50% silver bonus, all right? What about T-72M1? Click over here. Go down here. 55. Mediocre. This isn't that great. All right, let's look at this one. Escalating speed. NM116, good. Sniper tank. Leopard 1A1, mediocre. The armor is really weak on the Leopard 1A1. So NM116, 55% silver bonus, which is good. Leopard. Yes, I have this tank. This is my tank. 65% silver bonus. That's its one saving grace. However... If you have the Condor, that is a 65% silver 
earning tank, a killer moneymaker for a decent tank. Western Skirmishers, let's see, Leopard VT2. This has a 55% uh, silver, which is not bad. Oops. Let's go look at this M60 Rise. M60 Rise is 65%. All right, not bad. Now, objectively, my preference, if I was going to buy a, you know, whatever Cold War tank for silver, I'd just buy a FV4211 with a 65% bonus and rake it in nasty. Now, I have some others that are very good as well, but are not for sale here. So I'm just giving you an idea. But, oh, geez, I would never, ever pay 15,000 gold. If they gave me 100 million, I wouldn't give you 15,000 gold for it. It's that stupid. So let's just look at this again. Carve this into your brain. Jackpot. 10 million. No, if it was 100 million, I wouldn't give you 15,000 gold for it because it's free. It's literally free. Just go and get it and earn it yourself. Now, I've been running for the pirate operation. I've been running Cold War Armadillo, raking it in and getting the pirate stuff. Well, in fact, I'll show you those in, in just a second right here. Fire in the hole. I got this one. Booty. I got this one with my armadillo. The skull and crossbones emblem. Got this one with my armadillo. This was the tough one to get from the cards. And that was the pirate hat emblem voucher. And it goes on the front of your tank. In fact, I'll show you what it looks like on a tank. There is the pirate hat on the tank. Now, the pirate hat is one of those emblems that once you put it on, you can't use it again. So it's a one tank usage emblem. Just giving you the heads up on that. Shiver me timbers. It's Jolly Roger himself. That's why it's there. So that's fantastic. So we've come to the end of a quick but really excellent What's New Tuesday, matey. So please leave a like for this video. It'll help spread the word. Please tell your friends. That'll give them a chance to like and subscribe. And you landlubbers are great. I will see you again in another video real soon. Thanks for watching. Arr.